You know, birds can be a pain in the neck for farmers. They can eat up an entire field of fresh berries, and fish farmers don't like them much either because birds are constantly raiding the ponds, holding those tiny fish. Fox 13's Tanya Arja shows us how some USF students took a high-tech approach to an ancient way of scaring birds. He's not the newest recruit on the USF football team, but this guy does have a lot of hardware. A camera under the helmet and some high-tech gadgets in his belly. It's a creation of four computer science undergrads at USF. Jamal, Albert, Francisco, and Scott. Their intelligent scarecrow uses computer software and camera sensors to detect birds around these fish ponds and then scare them away. Their system sets off sprinklers and plays fake gunshot sounds to get rid of the birds. It's really nice to see something that you learn about for several years and then to come out here and apply that knowledge, it's really great to see something like this. Their project can also be programmed to see colors so a farmer can put on a vest and walk around without getting doused by the sprinklers. On average, fish farmers say they lose 3 to 5 percent of their fish because of birds. They're hoping this new technology will reduce their losses, which means more money back in their pocket. It definitely has potential, it looks like, but this, this is a prototype and I think it could go far. The students entered their project in a Microsoft contest and are now there. one of 200 oh, finalists hot. worldwide. They hope to win, get some grant money, and maybe yeah. help other farmers. If we can save some of the losses they have from birds, plus protect the birds, uh, we've got the double-edged sword there. The system can also send data to the farmers so they know when the birds come around and what ponds they're most attracted to. The students say it's been a fun project to create. They just hope others feel the same way. In Waimama, Tanya Arja, Fox 13 News. The scarecrow costs less than $500 to build with the computer. The USF group is only one of 18 from colleges and universities in the U.S. The rest are all overseas. They're going to know how the project does for sure come May.